Norath. Hey, welcome to bonus episode. It's not the adventure squad, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you what the year of Dark Paul January is all about. Uh, we're in Blackboro and we're going to run around and we are looking for these little shinies that have dragon heads on them. Today is the last day. There's one right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around Blackboro to each one of the locations. I have them on my map. I marked them all. And then we're going to go and do two uh, of the quests. Let's, let's jump over here and we'll show the achievements real fast. It's under a fence. Year of Dark Paw. And here we go. We have the Null Essence. That's going to be our eight-piece collection from Blackboro here. And then we have to go to says it's in South Row, but we have to start the Tides of Time in North Row. And we'll do those two quests real quick. They're, they're really nothing uh, difficult. I think it just really takes you back to the to the old days and uh, lets you revisit the zone and uh, work on a camp that used to be very popular for that zone. So it's pretty fun. And then the cool thing is we're going to go to North Row and south row but they've removed the oasis of mar from the map and combined north and south row together so it makes a an interesting map but kind of a bummer that oasis of mar is gone so here we are we're going down into the depths here of blackboro i'm sure a lot of people know what we're talking about here here's another one and there should be another one there's another spawn, you know, like, right, oh, and it's right there. Just showed up. All right, we'll head over here. So I spent about, I don't know, probably about 10 or 12 hours running around here collecting these things. And I would just keep marking all the, on the map every time I found a new one. And this is it. Everywhere I'm going, that's the only place I've found them. I didn't spend any time here on this character. Uh, Bob spent most of his time over on Fedor or stuff like that. But too high level uh, once it was able to get the Black Burrow over on this side. You know, this is one of the uh, starting zones. So I spent my time in Crushbone. That was my favorite place. I think I stayed there on and off till about level 21, which was really way too long but I really did enjoy that zone so I just kept staying there there should be one right here there's one over there but we're gonna pick that up on the way back there's usually one right by this knoll here I'm doing it pretty quick. It's a little jerky. There we go. This one here seemed to be, I don't know if they're, if this one is really rare, but I don't know. I didn't seem to pick this one up as much as some of the other locations. There's one on this ledge right in front of me. Sometimes you can go through the door as it's opening. Here we go. And then this is where we came up. And that's the shiny that we wanted to pick up. There we go. Awesome. This one was kind of a rare find there as well. It didn't take long for me to learn this zone. I didn't know it at all. back in here it's usually right between those two boxes so it was pretty fun you know going back and seeing this zone I think I picked one up like right here one time but I might be mistaken it might have been that one just misremembering and I always want to go the wrong way there and here sometimes there's one right here 
Let's see, right up. Yeah, and there's one right here as well sometimes. Not very often. Gotta go down. There we go. It's a pretty good haul. And that's a double. I've had one or two triples. All right, we'll pop over here. And right by that burly knoll, there's usually one right behind him. We'll come over here. Right behind those barrels. There's one a lot of times. All right, now what we want to do is pop down here and go down into the bottom of the well. Let's see, is this way, I believe. Yeah, right here. Sometimes there's one down here. One over there, or sometimes one over here. All right, nothing in there. run up out of here and that is it for black Burrow and the shinies there's eight of them hey this guy here got a whole wolf pack these guys all right if we drop down here you go down into the well we just were and there let's see the exit is over here would have thought they would have put one over here because this was this was a big camp right here i've watched a lot of people on youtube camp this place and they always seem to post up here by this tree if you go in here there's a a pit trap and it drops you all the way down that's pretty neat all right and with that we are going to head out of blackborough we will see you in north row all right, we are in North Row. So we are going to go over here, right near the South Row uh, zone line along the shore. Might even be this thing here, way in the background. Probably is. Yeah, that's it. It's a new, new area called Tides of Time. And I believe everything for this year, for year of Dark Paw, probably going to be revolving around this. Unless this thing is going to move from zone to zone. I don't know. Alright, so what we do, we come up over here. And if you want to, you can stand in this. I think it's cool. And you just click it, and it's going to zone us into that zone. So we will see you when we get in there. We are in the Tides of Time. We have our merchant over here. We'll check her out in a minute. Well, not a minute. We'll check her out when we're done. And we'll explain a little bit more about that. All right, so we come up here and we click this little shiny thing. And uh, okay, we gotta, gotta put our arrows and quiver away because we're gonna put this thing here. This is a Broken key of sand, no trade. All right, that is that. So what we're gonna do is zone back out and we'll continue on with the quest. Back to North Row. Here we are, back in North Row. So what we wanna do is we just click this thing Oop, we got to right click it. There we go. Now we get the quest. Here we go. I'll put that back in our inventory. All right. Explore the York camps in the southeast. We need to go to South Row, which is right here.
Okay, welcome to South Row. I'm sure if you were in Oasis of Mar, you remember fighting the crocodiles here. But now this is part of South Row. Take that over there to go to Velios. Oh, nope, Tamor's deep. Velios is in uh, North Row. My mistake. We are going to go to the southeast and explore the orc camps. It's really just one camp, but that's where we're going. This is kind of like the new orc highway here. I know there were a bunch of orcs here and zombies and stuff and mummies before, but I think they've really upped the population there since they don't have the orc highway and oasis of bar any longer. All right, you're following along on the map. Was that Hasten? Oh, just a sand giant. All right, here we go. We got a dervish camp. We got these cats over here. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to do this. Yep, there we go. All right, well, my turn. I guess we can all do this at the same time. Everybody else is doing it because this is the last day. Here we go. We want to kill this oracle. Kill this orc warrior. There we go. And we, what is that? Ah, we leave that. We want to loot this thing here, the broken blade of sand. There we go. We'll leave the rest. All right, explore the giant camps in the northeast west. So I think that's where the some giants used to hang out. It was like that used to be the zone line where that uh, small bottleneck is here, and yeah, that used to be the zone line. So Jason. Nope, just another sand giant. You gotta kill the named if you're running by them, you know? This one is a little more difficult for me to find the spot where it says... There we go. Found it the first time. Alright, now we get this guy here. We kill this sand giant or sandstorm champion. And we will loot this broken key bowl of sand. There we go. All right, next. Now we go to the Specter Island. When I was running around this character here, it was probably about 17 or so, so. We didn't go anywhere near Specter Island. I think everything over here was about 40. I remember right, but I remember 17 was way too low. But we did. I just stuck uh, pretty much right back where we came from. And uh, just killed orcs. Oh, here we go. Task complete. Now let's kill this haunting specter. Go, and we will loot Broken Key Biting of Sand. Alright. Here's our container. There's the sand. There's like that hilt thing and the ball. And we are going to put those in that key that we got. I'm clicking the little blue shiny thing. Broken Key of Sand. And we'll combine it. Now we have an awesome key of sand. And we get our experience, and that completes this first quest, the Broken Key of Sand. So, 0.02% EXP. No thank you, we'll just take 1,200 flat. There we go. There's that. Alright, now we are going to head back to North Row and the tides of time so we'll see you when we get back inside 
the tides of time. We don't have to do that quick little zone from here to North Row. We'll skip all that. Once we get up to the zone line, we will cut the video. I haven't seen Lockjaw when I've come through here. Just all the Caymans and stuff. So be pretty good to see him. I think I was killed by him a few times. I like playing the old classic stuff and going to the old zones, killing the old monsters. There we are. Now we're going to record this part. I felt like doing it all, not skipping a step. All right, we are here, back in the tides of time. We're going to go back up to that door. All right, and now what we'll do is, whoop, we need to right click this. There we go, that gives us the task. And now we have to wait, I don't know, probably about 30 seconds before you can click the door and get the instance. I think we just have to wait for the server to catch up that this is something we want to do. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, no, no, I got to. We are going to need our mercenary for this. We do a lot of medium level killing and this way we won't get killed. Let's do it. There we go. We got the instance. Here we go. Okay, here we are. We are at the at the event. Uh, I, it, I've done it with two different characters and I had a Shadow Knight and she had to kill a bunch of skeletons plus this uh, what is his name? The Withered Memory. Bob always gets crocodiles and skeletons. And you want to fight the ones on the left here first from the zone in. And let's see, kill the ancient crocodiles. Which would threw me off the first time because there's only one ancient crocodile. So here we go. throw a dot on there that gives a damage shield on myself we'll throw another dot do our falcon strike oh this guy's beating up my mercenary over here let's throw a dot on him so I get the attention. There we go. We're just running through uh, spell rotation here and my synergies. We're doing uh, inevitable shots, focus whirlwind of arrows. Let's get on this guy. We'll pick that back up. Let's hit him with another dot. And then we have uh, Summer's Torrent. And we just crush them through all those. And then I have two synergies and Raiden drop kicks and focus Temple of Blades. Oh, we should click this. This is our fungus. It gives us extra DPS, but it's worn off. And we'll make that go away. We don't want the actual familiar. We just want the stat buff, which is this thing down here. Familiar. Because these things con. These things are at level 123. They're they're under con. Blue with just regular 123s would destroy me. Bob House is not a tank. He is a ranger. We can talk about him a little bit while we're doing this. He's a 124 ranger. Um, there we go. The new expansion here has come out. The the Onus song or whatever it is. Um, haven't been doing any of the progression yet, just doing uh, throw a group guardian out there. 
attack buff and stuff. Uh, just been using Overseer to level up. So, where are we? We're 39% into 124. Oh, and my bags are full of my 124 spells that I haven't memorized yet. I'm going through some, some heavy mana here. down to 24 percent working pretty good Let's hit him with another dot an elemental arrow that uh, increases my uh, arrow damage there we go Be nice to root these guys and shoot them with my bow so let's see Pull up these weapons here. Lost my mouse for a second there. There we go. We got a spectral loose light mace and loose light sword. Those are uh, raid uh, drop items. So you got to get the uh, essence to create them. And my base damage is uh, 429 and 384. It's lower than what you can get on the new group drop stuff, but. These give, I would lose uh, like 10,000 hit points, which I don't know, really in the end at uh, 5,700 and what? 575,000 hit points. If I lose 10, is it really going to matter? But the uh, damage increase is absolutely ridiculous. All right, here we go. Withered Memory, he's our last guy. He takes a second and then he, he comes in pretty heavy. Or maybe I have to go to him. There we go. Let's hit him with the dot. Uh, what that does is it dots him and it puts a damage shield on me. So he takes damage. And then we will get our new dot on there. Just like, you know, stinging swarm, you know, range of stuff. There we go. Let's throw out throw out a couple burns on here, speed things up a little bit. I used pure shot, I didn't need to because I'm not using a bow. We'll throw our little pack gun in there and just tear him down real quick. Doing all kind of damage over here in the pink and purple. Running through our synergies and our spells. And there you go. When you do that, all done you will get these things here oh, missed it you'll get these timeless tokens you get ten uh, ten of them for doing the doing the collection you don't get any for doing the broken sands and then you get ten more for doing uh, the oasis of sand and then here we have those two and we have the rest of the year getting ready to, to be released. Uh, so tomorrow, there'll be another set, and I did find out that it's going to be in Nagafin's Lair, which is what Soul B. So that'll be really neat, nice old school zone. All right, well, we are done with this, so we can remove ourselves. A little disappointed that you don't get 20 every time you do it, because it says there's a max of 125 times you can do it. Right? Quest timer, minimum one, I, I don't know. I took that as being 125 times you could do it, but I don't know, I guess I'm wrong. All right, well, we can remove ourselves from that because we're not getting anything for it. All right, and we're gonna zone back into Tides of Time. All right, here we are, Tides of Time. Oh, let's get our levitate off so we can go down the stairs. All right, and then here we have a merchant. She sells all this stuff and she's using these timeless tokens. And like for Bob, he could use this. This is a level nine augment. 
looks pretty good, but I don't have anything that requires nine. So that's going to be something that comes out probably with maybe like new, new raid gear or it could be even in the new group gear, which I don't have any of. I just have the only thing from there is I have this new bow, 505 base damage. So it's pretty nice. And that is the droppable one. Uh, there is another one that's no drop that's even better. And that's not even counting the raid one yet, so I haven't seen that. But there you go, you can buy all that stuff. There are, you know, like pretty much one for every type of class that's gonna need that has more decks, and this has all kind of crazy stuff goes in your charm. Oh, it is a charm. Let's see, this charm improves as you complete heroic adventures within tides of time. That's pretty cool. It only costs 10. But every time you do another one of these, it's going to get better. So when you buy this, you're like, oh, that's great. And it's, it's really going to be nothing. But here's my charm that I have right now. 669 AC. So 15,000 hit points. So I don't know. It's probably going to get worse, and then it'll get better. But, you know, for 10, that's not too bad. Now, another AUG. So, they go in all the different places, and, you know, each one has its own. Each class, you know, you know, you know how it is. It basically has their, their one that's good for them. All right, enough of that. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time, so just enough to be dangerous. All right, well, that was the January Year of Dark Paw. We went to Blackboro, picked up all of our pieces, which these are all the pieces. I have way too many of them. We did the Broken Key quest so that we could get the sand, always as a sand uh, instance, and then we did that. Uh, maybe next, uh, next month I'll do it early. Uh, I just actually saw these the other day. I didn't notice that those had come out yet. Because when I first did it, I only knew about the uh, the collection from Blackboro. These weren't available yet, so that was something new. All right, well, maybe we'll see you next month, and we'll do this again in a different way. Have a good one.